If you need to export your queries or tables into a text file, because typically text files are the most universal files that you can import into another database, so if you want to share your data here with somebody else who has a different database program, export it into a text file. So this is one I want to export. I want to keep it simple. Total sold query. To export it, come up here, click on the external data tab, go to the export group, and click on text file. And let's see, I don't want it in the documents folder, so I'll browse and go to my desktop and save it there. And do you want to export data with formatting and layout? No, because if somebody else is going to pick this up, if it includes the formatting, well, their program may run into issues. But I'll show you both. Okay, this is without formatting, so we won't check it. Click okie dokie. And it starts us on the wizard. It says, okay, what delimiter or character is going to separate your fields here? Is it going to be a comma, a tab, or something else? If it's something else, just select a limiter and go ahead and click next, as opposed to fixed, where it's actually going to be, well, let's select fixed here. And, well, fixed looks okay, but look at that gappage there. Do I want that? I'll choose delimiter, go next. And then the default's a comma. It picked up on that. And so we just have a comma separates the name from the number here. And so that looks good. If it was something else, well, like a space or a semicolon, select those. Or if it's another character, select that and type in the character. Now, do you want to include names on first row? When I check that, then it has, it organizes it. So the book title is before the first comma. So book title, is that the book title before the first comma? Is that a title before the first comma? Yes, because after that is the book sold, and those are numbers. Okay, that checks out. Great. So you can go ahead and click Next, and then, well, that's going to be on the desktop, and that's going to be the name. Let's leave it as is and click Finish. Close out, minimize to the taskbar. There on the desktop is the text file. Double click, and there you go. Very simple. It's separating the data by a comma. So there's the title, comma, well, the title for that column there, the book title, and then the title for this column over here, which is not aligned up, but it is separated by the comma. So it doesn't have to be lined up. It just knows that everything that comes before the first comma, like this one down here and that one and that one, is going to be in the book title field as opposed to the book sold. So there's that way, or let me close out and right-click and delete that and say yes. Let's restore our window here. And let's do it again. Oh, that was so much fun. Let's do text file. Only this time, okay, it's going to go to the documents folder. Got to browse again and select the desktop and save it. Let's do it with formatting. Now with formatting, it's actually going to put pipes in there to make it look organized and look kind of fancy as it were, as much as the text file can. And so with it checked, let's go ahead and click okie dokie. And the encoding, the best thing to do is to go with the default, especially with Windows here. Let's click okie dokie and close out of that. Minimize that down to the taskbar, and there we go. So here's what it looks like with formatting. Double click. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look nicer? I wouldn't do this when somebody else wants to import that into their database because it may choke on these pipes here or these dashes. But if I'm just looking at it on my own in the notepad, it's a lot easier than having it staggered here and not without figuring out the comma ends here and the next one ends over here in any case. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.